Hey guys, it's me, back with the annual Zodak painting, but this time with gouache instead of watercolor. I'll be using the Himi gouache since I've been interested in trying it out ever since I saw it on YouTube. I think it was trending like a few, two years, of, a year ago, I kind of forgot, but instead of like a tube gouache, it's a jelly cube gouache, which I find it very interesting and it's quite affordable for me. It cost me like $9 here, so why not, you know? And I'm currently showing you the failed piece. I actually did like um, two pieces for this before the, the one that I'll be showing you at the end. But yeah, I would like to show you the reason why I hate it, I guess. Like I just want to show my failure instead of like hiding it. And the reason why I discarded it is because like I was unsatisfied with the way I painted and how rusty I was in traditional medium even though I had experience with gouache before. Like this past few years I've been so like used to digital medium because it's easier. It's more forgiving when you make a mistake. It's super forgiving than like uh, traditional because you just can't undo, <laughs> you can't control Z. So yes. And then you'll see in the next few seconds of me just giving up and just stop recording. Yeah, I fucking hate this. I'm not doing this. I'll redo. It's so shit. This time I'm going to line it properly with like mechanical pen instead of like just just wing it with like just shitty like brush strokes. I mean I can I mean it's some people prefer that but maybe not for me. Oh god I just hate it. I don't know why. I prefer the sketch. I think it's because of the vibrant and like how the how cool the shadow is and this one is just looks model. That's my phone, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, yes. I'll go, I'll continue doing this. Pardon the shakiness of the camera, I was basically holding it with my right hand as I was too lazy to set it up. I did the rest off screen because I want to focus on the current sketch, which you will see in the next shot. And the next day, I start again from scratch by praying to the art god as I lay down the base color. I think I did a pretty lousy job, uh, as you will see towards the end of the video because I had to fix the mess later, but for now it will do. Also watch some gouache speed paint on YouTube to learn the techniques from uh, other artists as well, as well as painting one sketch which I will show here. My favorite gouache artist has to be Noma. If you guys don't know her, um, you have to watch her. She's amazing. It is a treat watching her paint. And I also try to apply some of her techniques in my painting as well. I love the way she controls the temperature of a painting. It's something that I want to learn and apply on my painting on traditional and digital in the future. I just highly recommend it if you want to like, you know, learn from a gouache artist, I guess. Especially if you're a visual learner like me. Here I am, slowly trying to build up the layers. Since it's gouache, it's more forgiving than watercolor. I also rarely paint animals as you can see, so I had to look at reference all the time. Okay, my thoughts on the Himi gouache. It was really affordable, hence the reason why I wanted to try the gouache. I like the jelly cube design, though it's quite thin where I try to like layer colors compared to other gouache paints. The, the expensive ones, I mean. Um, I think it's still a good choice for people who want to try gouache for the first time but doesn't want to break their bank from doing it by doing it. Though it dries up pretty fast, like I mean the, the cube itself, it dries up pretty fast. So it's best to spray it with water when you want to use it or after you're using it to preserve the, the moisture in, in the paint. Because mine cracks a lot is because I accidentally left it open when I took a nap and I was like in an air conditioning room so it dries up even more faster so you have to be careful with that. And I think that's it. Pretty good. Not sponsored by the way. Now back to the painting where I put um, blue on a skin tone and then damp it away with dry brush to uh, soften the color uh, to create like a cool shadow look. And then I added blush as well.
Oh shit. Oh no. Dang it. No one will notice. Adding shading for her clothes as well as her trousers or her pants, I mean. And then I will put white on her hair and then I will top it off with orange uh, color so it kind of blends with the hair and the skin tone, kind of. I think red to her braids is kind of weird. Her, I don't know, her hairstyle is just orange and then do um, red. <laughs> don't worry about it, it's, it's okay, it's just my, my brain, man. And then we paint the red packet as well. Uh, initially, I was going to make him um, hold on a mandarin orange, but I kind of changed my mind because, you know, package, it's like, you know, there's money in it, you know, like, you know. Get rich, guys. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Can't lame. <laughs> and then I will do uh, more shading for the tiger. I'll... It was quite challenging layering this tiger, actually. So I'm just winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing the whole time. As I wait for the layers to dry, I crochet. I finally found a new hobby, you guys. It's so fucking good. It's like so relaxing. It was raining outside, so it's quite dark. Very cozy, you know? And I wanted to paint a thin layer of cool tone on the shadow, but I'm not so sure if the ca if it shows on the camera. Hopefully, it does. But for me, uh, when I look at it in real life, it kind of it kind of shows. I was quite struggling with blending the colors for the tiger as well as choosing the right tone for the painting. Like, should I go with cool tone or warm tone? So it was quite messy. And gouache paint tends to lighten or darken when they dry. So it may take some time to get the hang of it, to get used to it. And despite how messy the tiger and the girl look when I was painting it, um, after I applied the line art on top, it, they, they are starting to look better. More shadings. Then I use this technique to make highlights for the hair and then paint the nails as well as her hair braid and then I use more darker color to color the pants and then adding white fur for the tiger because uh, look at the if I look at the reference, they all, they always have like the white fur, so I add it. It looks pretty good, I guess. <laughs> and then starting to add stripes. This is where the painting uh, slowly become um, together. Sorry. 
Oh, pie mom. This cookie tastes like shit now. Oh no. Tragedy. And he loses money. And then he has no money to buy food. And then he kills himself. Yeah. What do you think? Sorry, I was watching someone play Genshin's um, Lantern Ride event and Paimon was at the part where she she was coming up with story and I was like mocking her voice but I just find it funny so I leave it on the tape on, on the video. <laughs> so stupid. And I also apply a watered down white paint for the left side of the strip to show that the light comes from the left side. Wow, this is show on the fucking camera, bro. Sheesh. What is the point then? Well, even though it's not that obvious on the camera, I can always fix it on digital. Adding more stripes on the tiger. This part is really, really therapeutic. I really liked it. And uh, I had to reference a lot of like um, t uh, tiger references. Uh, regarding to the stripes, like the, how the direction will go, like I realized that like um, a lot of people like to draw tiger in a very like triangular shape, so I find it really interesting. I also draw lines for the firecrackers, and I, I kind of like how I make the end of the firecrackers like fade away the colors. I mean, I quite like that, so the focus will not like be so all over the place, I guess. I took a nap and I woke up at the evening, so the lighting here is a bit dim. I'm sorry about that. My, you know, my co my sofa was too comfy, man. So you know, and I didn't have a good sleep. Okay. And then we just continue um, the line art. Is this is honestly like my favorite part? Actually, it's like very therapeutic. I quite like um, doing line arts. I think I forgot to add like uh, a very like heavy uh, line art underneath her neck, which is fine. Because I usually do that, but in here, it just looks natural for me, so it's okay. For makeup and clothing, I added some blue to accentuate the painting to make a contrast. Even though the blue looks very dull right now, when it dries, it will actually lighten up. So uh, I was uh, all, I was not really worried about this. And even though it, even if it's darkened, I could always layer it up because it's gouache. And also some grey on the braids to make it fade away. And then we add more details on the clothing, add like highlights on the tiger's tail, and also the red packets that the tiger's like munching, <laughs> holding with his mouth. And then here comes the messy part that I mentioned earlier, the base colour as well as the background colour. Uh, before I start with the traditional painting, I sketch the concept of on Procreate on my iPad and I compose the composition and the colour since it was easier to do in digital. The whole background is yellow and with um, some cloud motifs and I think I should have covered the whole painting with yellow instead of like just like a few patches. I didn't know why I didn't do it in the first place but uh... I guess maybe I was just very frustrated at my failure before this this uh, this painting, and I used like a deeper like dark mustard color or like orchard I think for the clouds. It, uh, I should have find more reference for this because like it looks like shit. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not that good for the clouds. Um, I don't know whether it's Japanese looking or Chinese looking. I feel like I just mix them both. Like, yay, let's go cultural appropriation <laughs> or something like that. But yeah. And then I stamp my signature using the using gouache paint since I don't have ink pads. Oh my gosh, I should have stamped here. Fuck. And 
as for the final touch, I added some gold on her clothing and the red packet. And it is done! It took me a week since I didn't paint this in one day to be honest, mostly because of my messy sleep schedule, resulting in me waking up in the evening and miss out the sunlight for the shooting. But at the end, I figured that painting at night wasn't that bad because I have I have l lights in my house. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, see you when I see you. Hopefully I have the motivation to post more painting videos. If you like this video, subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, comment or something. Uh, algorithm will do the work, I guess. I don't know. So thanks. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I don't know if you're alone. If you're not. And you're following us. <sighs>